Good afternoon, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Switch again, back for your second video blog of the day for August 2nd, 2014, 4.10 p.m. in Bellarmine, Massachusetts. The sun's coming out after a damp and dreary day. Highs only around 70 or so. Felt like a late summer, early fall day, damp weather-wise. But the sun's trying to break through, and we're trying to salvage most of the day. Get out and to enjoy these four hours, because... And because four more weeks of summer into the fall comes in the cold and the leaves change, maybe some snow. Some news to report, the Montreal Canadiens re-signed defenseman P.K. Subban to an eight-year contract with $72 million. And also sad news to report in the world of Atlanta sports broadcasting, longtime Turner Sports play-by-play -play announcer Pete Van Willen passed away at the age of 69. Pete was famous for calling the Atlanta Braves on TBS and the radio for over 30 years. He also called Atlanta Hawks games on TBS and the radio. He also did Atlanta football games on television, preseason games, Atlanta Flames games on hockey, college bat football on TBS. He was a sports reporter for CNN when they first went on the air in the 80s. And he also did NBA games for TNT and TBS. And Pete suffered has been suffering from lymphoma for the past couple of years and his contention got deteriorated. Put prayers to his families at this time of need. And that's about it for the news. My next subject is a personality profile about the Dean of Boston TV meteorologist, Harvey Leonard. Harvey Leonard's been on the air f in Boston for, for over 37 years. Um, Harvey's real name is Harvey Leonard M Moskowitz. He's Jewish, but he had to use the name Harvey Leonard when he went into television because just to sh 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 because it sounded too ethnic. He earned a degree in meteorology of the City College of New York in 1970, a bachelor's degree in meteorology. And then he went for his master's degree of meteorology and got it at New York University. He started his career at Universal Weather Inc. He prepared forecasts for aviation and industry. And around this time, he was doing some weather updates for several radio stations in Connecticut and New York City. And he also taught meteorology classes at New York University. In 1974, Harvey got his first television job as chief meteorologist of, of television station WPRI Channel 12 in Providence, Rhode Island, the CBS affiliate of, in Rhode Island. He was with WPRI for three years until he moved to, moved to Boston to be on WANAC Channel 7 in May of 1977 as a staff meteorologist. He predicted the blizzard of 1978 on February 4th, 1978, two days before the blizzard. He predicted it because back then weather forecasting in the late 70s, you could only predict what was happening three days or f up to five days in advance. And they didn't have the technology back then for weather forecasting, but he called it right on the nose. And he was so good at doing that that a few years later in 1982, um, WNAC became WNEV Channel 7, and Harvey was promoted to Chief Meteorologist for, for WNEV Channel 7, which turned into WHDH-TV in 1990. Harvey was Chief Meteorologist for WHDH for 20 years. He also won Best Meteorologist for the Boston Magazine publication four, four times. And also, around 1990, he did weather reports for WROR-FM in Boston. In April of 2002, Harvey Leonard was let go by WHDH-TV Channel 7, and he had to sit out four months because he had a no complete peak class. He immediately signed with WCVB Channel 5, but he could not appear on WCVB Channel 5 for 120 days, and he 
appeared on them in August of 2002 as a called chief meteorologist with Dick Albert, they shared being called Chief Meteorologist for six and a half years until Dick Albert retired in February 2009. And Harvey Leonard is became the sole Chief Meteorologist for Channel 5 in Boston. He contributed to the book Extreme New England Weather where in 2010, telling him the experience of the blizzard of 1978. And he's a charter member of the National Weather Association, and he's an avid outdoorsman, and he's a lecturer of Harvard, MIT, and Boston University. He lectures about the stories of him with the weather forecasting and probably the blizzard of 78 and other extreme level like hurricanes, heavy thunder showers, extreme heat, extreme cold, everything. And Harvey is the dean of what weather forecasters and New England meteorologists in Boston, and he's still going strong, and he's probably going to be a few more years before we reti we retire from television. But he's probably one of the most famous meteorologists in Boston television history. There's been a lot of them, like Don Kent and Dick Albert and Bob Copeland and others. But you can't compare to Harvey Leonard. A lot of people trust Harvey's forecast. On the end, he's one of the best doing it, and he's a great meteorologist. We're lucky in Boston to have him. Well, I'll be back later for the third and final video blog of the night. Goodbye, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. See you later. And don't forget, if you want any shout-outs, give me a shit. Send it to me a private message, and I'll shout it out, okay? See you later, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. RDT, RDT, RDT is going to get back Market Basket where he... Should own it. He should own market basket. Bye.